Welcome to Lightovation 2018. I'm Samantha Hart, Executive Editor of Lighting Magazine and the Meredith Luxury Home Portfolio. And I'm here to check out the latest trends in lighting. Right now, I'm on my way to meet with Eric Anderson from Lutron to find out what's new in lighting technology. Hi, Eric. It's great to be here with you today talking about what's new with Lutron and specifically talking about lighting controls, which we've all heard about but maybe don't know quite enough about. What can you tell us about this space? Well, Sam, it's great to see you again. And it's a really exciting time in the lighting control category. As many, as many people have seen the commercials that are on the air with Amazon, Apple, and Google, you've got all this voice control that's, that's driving lighting control and saying, hey, I want my lights to do this or my lights to do that. But how do you actually control your lighting system? What are your options? So, so you've got really three great options in, in my opinion. First of all, once you've got your smart dimmers in place and your bridge that's going to be able to allow you to connect to the cloud so all this lighting control can happen, you can go up uh, in a traditional manner to the wall and press a keypad that may say cooking and all your lights in the kitchen go to where they should. You could sit on a couch and be in your family room and have a little remote control on a pedestal and that says movie time or that says cooking and then it sets those lights to the right level. Or I could just say, Alexa, turn on cooking and all my lights do what they should. That is seriously smart. But now are these pre these controls, are they preset? So is it something you need to program yourself or is it pre-programmed to be cooking, entertaining, you know, movie time? That's another fantastic advancement with the technology today. The ease of setup for consumers is, is never like before. You literally, once you have one of those, uh, those little keypads that have one of those pre, I guess, predisposition type of scenes, as soon as you put those into the app, the app will decide which devices in the kitchen need to go to what levels and it'll program it for you. Now the consumer still has the ability to tweak that and add or delete different lights that they want to, but the initial setup is very quick and easy now. Well that's what I love about it. I love the flexibility. You make it work for you in the way that you choose to live. You're exactly right and it's only going to get better. Now is it an easy retrofit option? Because sometimes I think people think, well I need to gut my entire home or I need to you know, build new, but actually you can retrofit these. You sure can, and not even for retrofitting, but when you add on, you may only start with a couple of lights and then say, wow, I love this. So the way you would do that is any switch that uh, you want to control or any light you want to control, you take out the existing switch, put in one of Lutron's smart dimmers, and then add it into the app, just like that. And it's usually with just a button press. Is it crazy expensive? It's not. If you're thinking about controlling one particular light at a time, it's about a $55 retail introduction. And then for the, the bridge that allows you to talk to and integrate with the Amazons and Googles of the wor world, it's about $140. Oh, well, that's fascinating. I really appreciate you taking the time to explain that all today. Well, thanks for letting me stop by. Thank you for joining us at Lightovation 2018. To learn more about the latest trends in lighting, pick up a copy of Lighting Magazine on newsstands now or visit us at alalighting.com.